Good morning and welcome to our restorative yoga practice today. We're going to begin on our backs. So if you'll just come along with me, get on your mat and start on your back so that you can have a nice long spine feeling supported here. So just roll down nice and slowly. You're gonna start here laying with your knees together and your feet wide. And I just want you to Lengthen your tailbone here. Feel your spine long, supported, and then go ahead and let your shoulders press down towards the mat. Take a nice deep breath into the belly. And a long breath out of the mouth, just relaxing your face. As you're getting settled, just let go of any thoughts or plans any sounds that might be distracting you. Just allow yourself to just be at ease here on your back. Your hands can rest here on your belly. You're just gonna breathe in fully and then breathe out completely. Feel the back of the head supported here. Again, let those shoulders relax towards the mat. You can even bring your elbows out a little bit more to give you space. Feel the breath come in the belly as the belly rises. And then your belly softens as you breathe out. We're gonna take five rounds of breath here. Full breath in full breath out. Let's start to bring the breath in and out of the nose here. breaths, nice and long. Feel all the muscles of the face relax, your eyes soften. One more breath here. And then bring your arms out nice and wide, letting your palms face up. You're just going to let the legs go side to side here. And as you press the knee down towards your foot, so the knee that's in the center as it goes down, I want you to feel that stretch in the top of your thigh. So a little sway side to side. And then go ahead and let your legs stay to one side. And then you're gonna go ahead and put your ankle on top of your knee, just adding to that stretch on the top, right from the top of the hip down through the top of your thigh. Big breath in, feel all that space in the abdomen, the low belly. Good breath out. And then switch over to the other side, just kind of a little switch right and left, just to shake that out. And then again, knees go to the side, and then bring your ankle on top of the other knee. So you press the knee down, feel that stretch, top of the thigh, top of the hip, a little bit of hip flexor here. And then release again, just kind of shake it out. We're gonna be real easy with ourselves today. Little bend in the knees, feel that tailbone tuck here, and then release. So press the low back down, you get a little pelvis tuck, and then release. So you feel that posterior and anterior tilt of your pelvis here. Maybe you don't have a lot of movement there, and that's okay. We're just going to work on getting some space there in the low back, in the hip flexors, which is really good in the case that you're doing any traveling. You're doing any sitting, actually. It's mostly the, the sitting for a period of time in one place. So you pull the belly in, push those low ribs down, pull the belly button to spine, and then kind of undo that so you feel that little tuck of the tailbone low back presses down, and then release. And now we're gonna add to that a bridge 
pose. So the beginning is your low ribs, your belly pulls in, you tuck the tailbone, and then press into your heels, lift your thighs and hips. And just make that a little bit thicker. Roll down, tailbone releases, and you just come to that natural little space underneath your back, and then press your back down, lift your hips, lift your thighs, and stretch the knees forward. Let's just do that a few times with your breath. Rolling down the lumbar spine, inhaling, pressing into the feet, rolling up. So that's actually just starting to get your, your belly button to start to pull in correctly. Get that tailbone to lengthen, and you come up just giving the back body a nice little squeeze. A little bit of strengthening there, and the front body gets a nice stretch here. Just giving your low back a little bit of love. One more time here, big breath in. And then exhale, roll down. Let's go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. And we'll rock side to side here. Give yourself a little pause, give yourself a hug around your shins, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, squeeze the breath right out as the knees come in closer. Again, big breath in. And then full breath out. And then go ahead and let those legs come down. Let's do the bridge pose just a couple more times. Big breath in. And then as you exhale, roll down, bring the knees into your chest. Squeeze out the breath, nice and slow. Inhale, bridge. Exhale, roll down, breathe out. Last time, breathe in. And then roll down, keep the knees into your chest. And then you're gonna take your knees towards me as you come to a lying twist. The knees go over to the side. And then you reach out through your opposite arm. The ground is a little wet here, so I'm trying not to, <laughs> not to get all wet. Reach the arm out, and then just feel the side ribs open up. Nice big breath in, full breath out. Feel the beginning of that stretch into your low back, nice, nice and releasing. And you can extend your leg out nice and long. Just feel that stretch kind of go out down the outside of your knee, outside of your hip. Now bend the knees into your chest, and then we're gonna roll over to the other side. Just extend the leg out nice and long. Reach your arm out, big breath into your ribs. Full breath out. Just allow your body to relax here. Not a lot of effort. I want you to feel that stretch that from the low back down through the outside of your, your leg and hip. You're kind of letting that shoulder come down towards the ground to a nice full twist. And then knees back into your chest. Extend your right leg up nice and long for me here. Holding on to the back of the leg, making some ankle circles. Today, not so much the bird sounds, but we have doggy sounds. <laughs> Let's go ahead and point the heel up to the sky and then the toes. So just flex, point and flex the foot. Feel some space in the back of the leg. Maybe put a little bend in the knee so that you can draw it in a little bit more. If you put a bend in the knee, you're going to get that stretch probably a little deeper into the back of the leg, maybe coming down into the outside and center of that glute here. So just experiment here as you do this. If you've got a, a towel or a strap, you can even put it onto the, the ball of your foot and help you draw your leg towards you and keep your shoulders down. Just give yourself a little bit of ankles, circles here. And then we're gonna put that ankle onto your knee. Hold on to the back of your opposite leg, pulling your left leg in, pressing your right knee away. Just give yourself a few breaths here, stretching these big muscles. Start by 
being on our backs, and just getting all the space we can, and then we'll come up onto hands and knees and get a little bit more flexibility, a little more, a little deeper range of motion. Take two more breaths here. And then release. I'm gonna add something to you today. You're gonna press your heel, the one that's on the ground, press it down and come into that bridge we were just doing. So a little tuck of the tailbone, come up and then press your knee down gently and then roll down. So you don't have to come up really high. I just want you to feel the strength of a leg that's lifting you and then how that changes that nice back space. You're getting an inner thigh stretch. So it's like bridge and pigeon together. A little hip stretch, pressing the knee down, and then go ahead and roll down. Let's switch. Just bring the knees in, just rock side to side. Knees can be outside of the torso here. You're taking your time. And then we'll put our right leg down, extend your left leg up. And just give that leg a little bit of time. Notice how it's feeling. Maybe even kind of move the leg in the hip socket a little bit. Make sure you're, you're feeling good there. Press the heel up, press the toes up. As you press the toes up, feel how that stretches the top of your foot down into your shin. In the past, we've kind of experimented with pushing the arch of the foot up and then the outside of your foot. So just give yourself a little bit of time to see how moving the foot and the ankle is all gonna translate into the stretch of the whole leg. And then put a little bend in the knee, draw the leg in and this leg is bent, go ahead and put, feel free to push into that foot here. That's gonna help, again, tilt your pelvis back and kind of give you a little bit more space to feel that deeper stretch. Let's take two more breaths here. There's no rush. Large muscles need time. Let's put our ankle onto our knee now. And then bring the legs in, stretching into the outside of your left hip here. Take your time and do feel free to move side to side. Just doing what's best for you here. Relax the face and see if you can relax those shoulders down towards the mat if you tend to round through your shoulders. You could also use a strap or a, a, a towel or something to just help you bring the legs in. Notice if you're holding any tension in the face. And feel free to close your eyes here as we stretch into the hip. Sending the breath to wherever you're feeling intensity. And as you exhale, consciously release that space. Don't add any tension. foot down. And again, on this side, we're going to experiment with that, that bridge and the hip stretch here. So we're going to press into the foot, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glute that's lifting you, and then roll down. At the same time, as we lift our hip, you're pushing this knee down. Just gently. It's not an overexertion. And roll down. Let's do that two more times. Nice deep breath in. Feel how that opens up the low belly, and then we roll down. Remember to roll down one vertebrae at a time in that lumbar spine. One more time, let's lift. Feel the chest open there, and then come on down. Knees are coming, come into the chest. Let's bring your knees wide, so it's like a modified kind of knee hug and happy baby. And then if you're ready, you can go ahead and come into happy baby, letting your feet lift up and then draw the knees down towards your, towards your underarms here. We're gonna rock side to side, pressing the knees towards the mat. And start to lengthen your legs out nice and long as you rock. Still the spine is nice and long. You're not even having to worry about posture here. You're gonna lengthen the legs as much as feels good. Hold on to the legs. Just kind of kick out side to side. Be playful with the legs. A 
take the legs up, make some ankle circles. We're just letting the weight of your legs kind of rest into the, the hips, the low back. Make sure you circle the ankles in both directions. Squeeze and release your toes. Press those heels up, toes, whatever feels good. Just take a moment here. Maybe even press the pads of your fingers into the big muscles of the legs. You can draw the legs in closer if that feels good. And we're gonna bring the soles of our feet together now, holding on to the soles of the feet or put a, a strap or a towel around the outside of your feet, keeping the heels together and then pressing the knees out. You're drawing your heels down towards your pelvis. Now you really have a nice long flat back. Your whole spine is getting all those natural curves stretched. So breathe in here, your whole abdomen nice and open. Low belly has lots of space. And then we'll help our legs come back together. Let's go ahead and either roll up to the center or roll to the side. You're gonna come right up into a table pose. So as we come into table pose, you're putting your wrists or your hands right underneath your shoulders. I want you to start to cat and cow here. Inhale, look up, and then exhale, round. Again, nice big breath. Feel some strength in your back body. And again, I want you to focus on that tailbone, the pelvis. Tilt forward and back here. Really tuck your tailbone here, separate those shoulder blades. Little bend in the elbows, opening up your chest. And then we'll take our left foot forward, right outside of our hands. So the hands are in the center, your left foot is forward, and I just want you to move side to side. I want you to get the space in the front of your hip flexor. If you've got some blocks to put your hands on, feel free to do that to lift you off the ground a little bit. Just giving you more space to maneuver, more space to breathe. As you press your hip out to the side, feel that space too. You want to breathe long into the low belly. And then go ahead and come on up. You're going to bring your weight over your back knee and then sink your hips forward here. You're going to go forward and back using this front leg as like a little break. Nice big breath in full breath out. Now if this isn't comfortable for your knee here, I want you to either roll up your mat or maybe get a pillow or a blanket. You can rest there. Just feel that stretch. And then we're going to stay right here. You're going to hold on to your front leg and then take your arm up and over. Nice big side stretch here. Feel like you're taking your elbow up to the sky, getting lots of space along the ribs. And then breathe those ribs towards my direction. Kind of like you are kind of inflating the side body. And we'll bring our hand down and then go ahead and again, come on down nice and low. Hands inside the leg one more time. Sink down, little side stretch, little hip flexor. And we're gonna press that front knee away from us. Opening up, get a little bit of rotation. It might take a couple of times to kind of warm up the spine, so feel free to just kind of come in and out of the twist. Turn towards the knee, lower that hip, and then turn towards the ground. All right, hands come down. You're going to tuck your back toes. And now towards me, go ahead and come into a straddle position. Your feet are nice and wide. And just let your arms hang, your chin tuck so that the top of your head points down. And just let gravity pull on your torso here. Soften your elbows, soften the face. 
put a little bend in your knees if you bring your tailbone down and then straighten up the legs. So I want the outsides of your feet to be parallel to the short ends of your mat here as you forward fold. And then walk your hands back to the front of your mat so that your left foot is in front of you. You're in a higher lunge. Just sink the hips here and then straighten the leg. So now our knee is off the ground. Your hands could be on blocks here. Just do what's best for you. We're getting a deeper stretch into this hip flexor. And then as you lift the hips, you're straightening up the leg as much as feels good. Your back toes are tucked. Long legs today. we lengthen that psoas muscle, it's going to help you have more length, more space, less tightness in your low back. Now as you're here, you can kind of move side to side here, hips go side to side, and feel how, how you get a different stretch. I'm just going to come up a little bit to show you. So if your hip is open and you're like this, you're getting more inner thigh stretch. I want you to make sure your hips are rolled down. So this one's rolled down as you straighten up the leg. You're going to get that really into that calf and hamstring. We'll go ahead and bring the knee down. Now we're going to sit back, straighten the leg, and get a low hamstring stretch. So if I were standing, this is the hip I was asking you to draw forward. This leg is drawing back. So this one's kind of going back so we square towards the front of the mat. Get a long breath in, limited breath out. And then a little bend into the knee. Go ahead and bring your knee back to meet the other. Let's do cat and cow here. Again, focusing on the tilt of the pelvis. Notice if you've got a little bit more space or it almost feels like you've got more movement, less blockage on this right hip flexor. One more breath here. Now your right foot is going to come outside of your hands so that we can do that on the other side now. So right foot outside of the hands. Just kind of move side to side here. Give yourself lots of time and space. Your body just needs a little bit of patience. Definitely your acceptance is a good practice to get some information for your, from your body. One week you can have lots of space and then the next week maybe not so much. I will say that when you drink more water your body is more flexible so make sure it's not just it's not just something we say that you know water is good for you. Your body needs water. You don't want to be all brittle and dehydrated. You want to be able to move, able to find some flexion and extension in all your joints. And then go ahead and put your weight on your back leg. Come on up with me and sink. Inhale and exhale. I like to exhale when I get deeper into the stretch because then you're less likely to kind of hold your breath and hold extra tension. Using that front foot as a break. You're using the heel, you push down, and then release. Remember all this stretch in that big hip flexor muscle is getting your space for your back. It's gonna increase, or excuse me, improve your posture and improve your spinal health too. So good for you just for taking some time today to, to stretch on your mat. All right, one more time. And then you're gonna go ahead and bring your, your, sorry, your front arm is onto your leg. And then let's take that side stretch. Arm over the ear, draw the shoulders down, and then feel the ribs bow out to the side. It's gonna increase that hip flexor stretch. You feel lots of space from this knee on the ground right up through your whole side body.
and we'll bring our hands down. You're gonna walk your hand over to the side and as opposed to me straddling the other way, I'm still gonna straddle towards you. So go ahead and bring your feet nice and wide. You can have your back side towards me. It doesn't really matter. Just turn your toes in almost and feel the outsides of your feet pressing down. And we're back into that good wide fold. I want you to press into the outsides of your feet. And again, just let your torso relax. No effort here. If anything, I want you to bring your hips slightly forward. Take the weight out of your, out of your heels. And then you can kind of walk your hands forward and just fold. Feel the backs of the legs get some space. Let go of any tension in the face. Let the eyes soften. Like we did the last time, you're gonna put a little bend in your knees, squeeze those hamstrings, and then straighten up. head to say yes and no. And then you're going to walk your hands over to your right leg. So just to keep my knee going the same direction for you. Now the new leg is in front in the high lunge. The, toe, the back knee is off the ground. We sink here and then straighten. So from this angle, you're drawing this hip back, lowering that opposite hip. So just sink and then straighten. You're pressing into the big toe mound here in front of you. Feel a long leg behind you. And if you need to, you can have hands on blocks or maybe your hand is on your front leg and you're just straightening like this. I just don't want you to round into your upper back. Give yourself some space. And then we'll let that back knee come on down to the ground. And then sit back, straighten your front leg, lift your toes, just move side to side. All the low back space you need. If you wanna walk your hands over to one side and then the other, just take a moment here. Give yourself some patience, some nice long breaths. If you need more time in this, this space, feel free to just hit pause. that knee out once more. Press the knee out to the side, turn your chest, and then release. So again, just kind of winding up. You might get a little bit more space, a little bit more rotation as you lower your chest, and then you lift and then turn towards the ledge. So look for that, that movement to come from just below the belly button. hands come down, we'll bring our back, our knees together again, or just in line with each other. They're about hips distance, about two fists difference. And then again, cat and cow. So lift the hips, open your chest, and then round. Feel the tailbone lift, feel the collarbones open. Now notice here how much space you're getting in that, that hip tilt forward and back. We're going to take our leg out to the side. Your right leg is going to come out to the side. And then sit back with your hips. Maybe even turn the toes up. I just want you to get that inner thigh stretch a little bit. Right here, nice and easy. Let's come back as much as feels good. Again, if you need something under your knee, make sure you're comfortable. I don't want you to have any discomfort here. And then we're going to go to the other side. Bring that knee in. Take your other leg out. It goes out right night, about 90 degrees out from your body, so just directly out. And then you sit back until you feel a good stretch. So if you feel a good stretch right here, I just want you to stay here and breathe. Otherwise, you're just kind of going forward and back. Getting the inner thigh nice and gentle. You'll 
feel free to lift the toes or just kind of experiment with the placement of this leg if you turn it out or you turn it in. And then come back up to sitting. You're gonna face me. And then we're gonna take your legs either sitting in um, a cross-legged position, your ankles can be crossed here, or you can just bring your right leg on top of your left leg. And so to sit here comfortably, you might want to put a block here to support your leg. If your knee is way up here, I want you to bring your leg out a little bit further so that your, your knees are resting. So you don't want it to be too intense. This is a stretch for the outside of this leg. So sit up tall, draw your shoulders back, and then as your hands are planted here, draw your, your belly in and breathe into your chest. And then breathe out completely. So just give yourself a little bit of space here. Shoulders back, lift up through the chest. So if you feel a good stretch on the outside of your hip, this is where I want you to stay. And if not, you can come forward and stretch a little deeper into the outside of this hip. Use the breath nice and slowly. You breathe in, lengthen, and then breathe out, reaching your chest forward. come up just slightly, walk your hands over towards that front knee, the leg, the leg that's on top, your right leg, and then guide your chest over towards the top knee. Now anchor down through this opposite hip here. You're going to draw the belly in, press down, anchor, root down, whatever resonates with you, and then you're reaching your chest forward and out. Just feel the stretch. Feel free to close the eyes. And then come up carefully. Let's just bring our left arm up. You're going to hold on to the elbow and then arch over to the side. bring your right hand down. We'll take our left arm up and over. So you see, shape the spine over to the side. Really push down through your left side of your seat. And then come up nice and tall. Let's twist to your left. Lift through the chest. Rotate from just below the belly button. excuse me, face forward, we're going to switch our legs. Now your left leg is on top. Now you'll have difference in flexibility of your hips. So again, just make any adjustments you need to here. If you want to let the, the puppies wanting to go inside. None of the kids are paying attention. They can the door. <laughs> All right, so you're going to let your, get, get comfortable here. So if, it, if the ankle here doesn't feel great in your calf, you're gonna let this, just let this knee be, be comfortable. Sit up nice and tall. And just find your, your space. Again, bring the hands behind, draw the shoulders back. So this is helping you kind of lift the torso right up and out of your, your hips here. Get some space. And then notice if you're feeling that good stretch and I want you to maybe just stay right here, enjoy this stretch. Breathe into it or increase it by taking your chest forward. Tuck your chin. Lengthen up and out, and then as you exhale, folding down. Chin is tucked, top of the head is reaching forward. 
lift up just slightly, walk your hands over to the side, and then as you take your chest this way over your left knee, anchor down through your right hip. So we're working on both, not just the, the fold, but the anchoring down, that's giving you space in all the right directions. It's giving you some stretch in your low back. And then we'll come back up. Let's just come to the center one more time, just for symmetry. Whew. Selfishly, that hip is a little tighter for me today. <laughs> all right, let's take your right arm up and then kind of just bring the hand behind, uh, forearm behind your head and then arch to the side. And this is keeping, this side's underneath so it's helping you to anchor down so it's sequenced strategically here. Belly pulls in, arch to the side. And then come on up. Let's take that side stretch now. Your right left hand comes down, right arm goes up and over. Make sure that as you go to the side, your shoulder is coming down. Maybe your elbow touches the ground, but it doesn't have to. Bow the ribs out to the side. And we'll come on up and then twist. Gentle twist to your right. So let's take your legs out. Just take them out to the side. Just kind of lengthen. Heels are going to press out. You're going to sit up nice and tall. Draw the belly in here. If you've got a blanket or something you like to sit on to help you kind of, again, tilt your pelvis forward. Try to get lots of space. So just here, just go side to side. I want you to be real easy with yourself. Feel any, any tightness or um, restriction or blockage that you might find. I just want you to go real easy. Breathe out as you get into your stretch, looking to get the side waist and the back here. So we go to the side first. That way when we try to come to the center, we've already got a little bit of extra space to help us. inside the right leg, sit up tall, turn towards your toes, and then reach forward. Again, just like we did when the knees were bent in front of us. Lengthen up and out through the collarbones, and then fold. As the heart lowers, you're getting more stretch here. bend this knee so that the foot goes behind you, place your hand behind you, and then press your hips towards me, pressing that hip flexor forward, and then take your arm overhead if you like here, getting more hip flexor space, and then a nice little squeeze, a little hug for your back body, drawing your left shoulder down, little half back bend there, and then we're going to switch. So just bring your right foot inside, your left leg out long. We sit up tall, turn towards your leg, and then fold forward. Every breath, you get a little bit more space. So breathe in, lift, and then breathe out, relax.
nice and slowly. Again, just bend the knee, let the foot come behind you. You're gonna place your right hand behind you and then just start to lift up through the hips. You're pushing this knee down. You're getting the hip flexor stretch. And then maybe take the arm overhead. Nice big side stretch. Breathe into the whole front of the body. When you make a nice big pose like this, it's very energy building. So feel all that good energy come in through the front of the body. The heart opens, the lungs getting all the breath, increasing their capacity for the day. And then come on down, nice and easy. Let's cross the ankles here. We're just gonna hold on to the knees and then just make a couple of circles here with your torso. Coming forward and then exhaling back. Hopefully having lots of space here as you've gotten some side stretch, a little bit of hip stretch, and then re uh, reverse the circle. Let's take a moment here to sit up nice and tall. Breathe into the low belly, maybe even close the eyes as you push your shoulders back. Feel the ribs expand here. Feel the shoulders descend from the ears. Go ahead and let the right ear come towards the right shoulder. And you're gently gonna draw your left shoulder down. And then switch that left ear to the left shoulder. Nice big breath in and out here. Top of the head up, let's bring the chin to your chest. And then bring your head up. Let's go ahead and come on to your back. As you come to your back here, I want you to hug your knees into your chest and then make some circles on the ceiling above you with your knees. So I want you to feel just like when we were sitting and we were rolling our torso. Now I want you to roll the bottom half of the body as the upper half is nice and stationary. And then switch that circle, go the other way. And then we'll bring our feet down Remembering our bridge pose from the beginning, little tuck of the tailbone, lift up, and then roll down one vertebra at a time, nice and easy. Take your time. Remember, push the back down, lift the tailbone, lift thighs, and then roll down. Very good, nice and slow. One more time, big breath in. Full breath out. Knees to your chest. Give yourself a hug. Thanking yourself for this time on your mat today. You're gonna let your legs come down and then just extend the legs out nice and long, turning your toes out to the side. Go ahead and rest your hands on your belly and just feel and notice the breath as it comes in and goes out. Let the shoulders relax on the mat. Feel the whole body resting. And then bring your awareness to the muscles around your eyes 
It almost feel like your eyes could get bigger here. Is you just relax all those muscles right around the eyebrows, right underneath the eyes, all around the eye socket. Let those muscles relax. And then your forehead. Let it be soft and clear. If it feels good, go ahead and let your hands come down, your palms face up. Let's take five breaths. Fully coming in. Fully going out. Just remaining very present in your breath. Letting your body relax a little with every out breath. Not feeling anxious or rushed. Stretch your arms out long, stretch your toes out long. Feel your whole body with length, with space. Let's interlace your fingers overhead. Kind of take your arms over to the right and then to the left. Almost as if you could draw your arm out of the shoulder socket. Be gentle with yourself, don't actually <laughs> dislocate anything. Get yourself a little extra stretch, like your own assist here. And then separate the hands, spread the fingers wide, letting the palms face up, point those toes down, deep breath in. Feel that beautiful arch in your spine, that natural arch, and then exhale, soften. Let's very gently roll over to your side and come all the way up onto your seat. Sitting up tall, feeling rejuvenated for your day. Roll your shoulders back. Let's take a deep breath in, refreshing. And as you breathe out, you let go of whatever you're not taking with you today. Let's practice that again. Nice deep breath in. Good breath out of the mouth. Ready for whatever comes your way today. Let's bring our hands to our hearts, bowing in honor of you, of your patience, and of the time you took to take care of your body today. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me.